great time to be outside planting and getting things going for for the summertime. Uh, we're going to be planting some some. Uh, cabbage and some broccoli today and uh, prepared the soil by tilling it all up and uh, getting the soil pre prepared. Usually in the fall we'll put a lot of organic matter and, and fertilizer out there and till that in, let it all decompose over the winter time. And so we did that, but in the spring I like to run the tiller through just to loosen up the soil, lighten the soil up a little bit so that it's like perfect for planting. And then as we're getting ready to plant these, these plants, we're just going to dig a few little small holes to put those in. Might need to go a little bit deeper. And we'll be ready to transplant some plants. So that's what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be transplanting some cabbage and some, some broccoli plants. Cabbage I like to do about three feet apart. The broccoli we'll put a little bit closer, but uh, we've got some different plants here. So a little bit of purple cabbage. Uh, definitely you can tell it's, it's a little bit different from the, the, the green cabbage. So we've got a, a late green cabbage here and we've got a purple cabbage as well. I thought the purple would be kind of fun to, to plant today. So we're going, to be doing, we're going to be doing some purple cabbage. What I like to do to prepare the holes is put a little bit of fertilizer down the bottom. So, uh, so organic plant starter fertilizer from Natural Guard, we can put right down into the holes, work, the, work it right into the soil, and it will give the plants all the nutrient that they need for the first six to eight weeks. I'll come back later with a, with a tomato and vegetable food, a version of this Natural Guard organic fertilizer, and side dress those later as the plants are growing. But to get them started, the, the plant starter is amazing. It's got beneficial microbes and mycorrhiza, and beneficial organisms that we put down in the soil, and uh, it really helps the soil absorb and pick up nutrient and freeze that nutrient up, makes it available to the plants, eats up all the, the organic matter that's out there, breaks it down into soil so it builds your soil back up. Basically what we're doing is we're feeding the soil so that the soil can feed the plants and uh, make your plants produce what we want, which is you know obviously cabbages with these. So the plant starter works great. We're going to put just a little bit down into the, into the hole where we're planting, uh, usually about oh, a teaspoon to a tablespoon for a small plant like this. We'll put that into the soil. I'll put a little bit of soil back in there and kind of work it into the soil with my hands. One trick is when you're getting these and pulling them out of the containers, be careful not to damage the root system too much. So we want to be gentle. You got to kind of squeeze the container just a little bit to loosen up that root ball so the plant will come out. But when you pull that out, you know, be gentle not to damage the root system because the more damage we do to the root system now, the more it has to recuperate and recover from the damage that we do. So you've got some really nice root hairs that have started to develop on that, uh, on that root ball on the plant. So we're going to take that plant and just you know, gently put it down into, into the hole. We're going to push the soil in around it so it stays, so it stays in place. And I like to kind of press it down a little bit with my hands into the soil. Pull that rock out of there. Maybe bring a little bit of soil in around to protect it just a little bit. It's going to hold some moisture there. And once we get them planted, I like to use the kangaroots. Now, the, the kangaroots is a uh, it's a root drench and it will help the plants get established much quicker. We've all experienced transplant shock when we're moving plants from their, their original location, you know, being in the greenhouse in a nice little container with this perfect little soil conditions that it's got right there. And then moving it out into the garden and then watching them just wilt that day or even the next day and just, they, they really struggle. They have a hard time getting established into their new location. By watering the plants with the kangaroo roots, we can help initiate that root development to get the plants to, to get established quicker. They'll develop a much larger root system faster so the plant can pick up the nutrient that's there available for them. And so the, the kangaroo roots really helps cut down that transplant shock, get the plants reestablished in their new location, and give them a great head start to, to really take off. So let me mix that up. You know, water the plants with the kangaroo roots, which we've mixed up in our watering can here. Give them just enough moisture to, to really saturate that soil and get down in there. If you want to put a mulch down around as well too, that'll work great. And then depending on what uh, our weather conditions are, we can either put a hot cap over it or wall of water, aquadome if uh, we've got some really cold temperatures. But the 
the cabbage can handle cold really pretty well, even a light frost, but to really encourage some early growth, a little hot cap or something just to protect them would be a great idea. And uh, that soil is going to absorb that moisture in, keep that root ball nice and moist. And then uh, when uh, they get established, I'll put my soaker hose down here and uh, have a permanent way to water the, the, the cabbage after they get established. It makes it so easy to keep the, the garden looking really good with that soaker hose and uh, so much easier. It uses a lot less water to keep the plants happy throughout the summertime. So that's pretty much what we're going to do today is planting cabbage. So easy to get those in the ground, pull that soil in around them, make sure and use a good fertilizer for them, a good root starter to get them established and have less transplant shock. You should have amazing luck and success with your cabbage broccoli and that whole coal family uh, growing them throughout the spring and summer. Mm -hmm.